go again. <clears throat> I want to share something. Jesus said that I will give you the keys to the kingdom. And like you already know, I remember, you know, losing my house and the rental properties and all of our cars repoed and, you know, we moved into another place by the grace of God. And I remember getting down on my, getting down to lay down on the floor because we didn't even have a bed. Me and Greg didn't have a bed in our room. And I remember getting down on the floor. And as I was going down on the floor to watch TV, to go to sleep, I heard the Holy Spirit say, fasting is the key. That's, that's, that's one of the missing keys that it's one of the secret keys. And it's one of the keys that this generation don't want to implement. But when you look at the people throughout the Bible that God used in a mighty way, them people were fasting and praying people. When you look at Moses, the Bible says that Moses was the most humblest, humblest man in the world. He was so humble. But Moses fasted 40 days and 40 nights with no food or nothing to drink. Moses was in the presence of the Lord. And Moses, Moses did that a few times. Fasting is the key. If your back is up against the wall, Pull out your weapon of fasting. If the enemy's enemy is trying to attack your children, pull out your weapon of fasting. I met a lady at the nail salon. And so all of a sudden, my testimony of fasting just rose up in me. And I just started sharing it with her. And baby, she was telling me that her, her daughter was on drugs so bad. And I think her daughter was just like 22. And my heart went off for that baby. So I, God sent me there to that nail shop to tell that lady that fast. Fast for your baby. Fast. She said, because, you know, she was, she's an evangelist. So she's in the church and she goes to, she's in the church of God in Christ. So, you know, she stays in the church and, you know, with church of God in Christ, because that's basically what my root is, church of God in Christ. Even though right now I, I'm, I, my church I go to is, uh, is a non-denominational church, but my foundation is church of God in Christ because that's what God wanted to build my, he wanted to, that's the foundation he gave for joy. I'm not telling you all what to do. I just want Jesus and I want Jesus to teach me how to love him. Teach me how to, you know, study and pray and teach me how to seek his face. And I want to be wherever he wants me to be because now I'm an evangelist. So I got to be led by God so I can say the right things to God's people, because if not, we'll be held accountable for this anyway. So, you know, they do, Church of God in Christ do like implement fasting. Maybe they'll fast one day a week for a certain amount of time and stuff like that. And a lot of churches do, you know, have their fasting times. But I'm talking about a life of fasting. I'm talking about the mantle of fasting. So, you know, the Lord had sent me to tell her about the fasting. That lady, me and her, she, we both cried. And that wasn't nobody but God because God is going to deliver her daughter. We got to use this fasting key. Because certain doors we can't get into without fasting. And some doors will not be unblocked or unlocked until you fast. So, fasting is the key. Fasting is the key. Even if you do like a 24-hour fast, do something. you got to do something. You know, with the 24 hour fast, what I mean, just say you get up and you might eat breakfast and lunch. And then maybe you say, okay, at three o'clock, I'm shutting everything down until, until tomorrow at three o'clock. I'm not going to eat or drink anything, or I'm just going to drink water, or I might just drink liquids for 24 hours. That right there, I had, I, I, I was doing a 24 hour fast yesterday, did a fast last night, yesterday, and I tell you, there, there the dream came. God started giving me understanding and revelation. So God is just waiting to speak to you. He just waiting to speak to you. So that's all I wanted to say. I, um, you know, I could talk about fasting all day. I probably really didn't even have nothing to say, <laughs> but I love you all. And fasting is the key. So and let me say this real quick, because I was in the book of Jonah. It say, it's Jonah chapter two, verse 10. It says, so the Lord spoke to the fish and it vomited Jonah on to dry land. God can speak to your problem. 
and your problem can vomit up your money. Your problem can move out the way. Your problem can, can turn a sickness into healing. You, I mean, you know what I mean. God can turn that problem if you're sick into healing. So God got the authority. Some of our situations come just to show us our motives. You know, some people just with God because they don't, they want to get out of trouble or they want to not go to hell and all that. The, the Bible says that in that day, many going to be saying, Lord, Lord. And he going to be saying, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who work iniquity. So we can, what's your motive? You know, that's just like a man. He come and date you. What's his motive? Or a woman, what's her motive? And sometimes you won't know until it's uncovered. You know? So that's all I'm saying. What is our motive? Why are you with the Lord? And sometimes the problems will reveal your motive. That's just like if a man act like he wants you so bad. Just say you got some money. And then this man's always around you. And as soon as your money leave, he leave. What does that mean? What was your motive? What was his motive? See what I'm saying? So some people with God... Because they think everything is going to be peaches and cream. Baby, let me tell you something. You're going you, you gonna to literally be walking on the water with Jesus. Because everything ain't going to be peaches and cream. Because guess what? Your trials and tribulations and your suffering will reveal your motives. It will reveal your motives. Are you here just because? What's your motive? So that's, that's, that's all I want to say. Uh, I love you all. So fasting, that's what this video will be. Which... I, I wasn't even thinking about doing this video, but fasting, fasting will reveal your motives. Just let's, we'll just call it that. <laughs> okay. I love you all.